Good morning, Wolves, and welcome to Pack TV. I'm Kyler Thompson, and it's Monday, October. It's not Monday. <laughs> it's actually Thursday, the eighth. The eighth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And I'm Lexi, and today is National Fluffer Nutter Day. And if you don't know what that is, it's peanut butter and marshmallow cream sandwich. And apparently, they're really good. Seniors, packets for ordering cap and gowns for graduation are due today. Also. also Oh, you can do that. <laughs> also, seniors, this month is college application month, so get ready to get called down by Ms. Jones at some point this month. Students, we need you to start wearing your ID badge. Badge checks are coming soon. We want Fremont to be safe, and this is one way to do so, so let's all get in the habit. And we just want everyone to remember what if they are, that if they are wanting to write a spooky story for the Hal Chronicles, that those stories are due next Tuesday, the 13th. Make sure they're scary and not gory, and turn them into Miss Giver. And NHS is going to have a Cash for Kids event. There's a haunted house competition where you can make it out of ceramics, metal, paper, or whatever you would like. Please look at the poster outside of Remy's room to get the specifics. The submissions are due on October 23rd. The NHS also has hidden five Waldo signs around the school to help you get registered for those that want to sign up for NHS. You can find them and turn them in to get some prizes from NHS advisors. Good luck finding Waldo. The FFA is having a social on October 22nd at the school, Farm and Taylor. There will be a pumpkin carving contest and line dancing. Prizes and treats will be provided to the winners. This social is for members only, so if you haven't signed up to be a part of the FFA, do so now. They also want to remind all members to bring your own carving tools and pumpkins if possible, and remember to wear a mask. And now let's go to the locker room with Sports with Avery. Thanks, guys. The tennis team plays today at, at State. We want to send our best to those participating this morning and this afternoon. The volleyball team has a huge event today before, during, and after their game against Weber. It's, it's called Amy Strong. Courageous. A fighter. Considerate. Oh. Supportive. Strong. So kind. Brave. Bright. Perfect. Caring. Bubbly. Supportive. Selfless. Fun. Outstanding. Beautiful. Amazing. Fabulous. Loving. Happy. <laughs> kind. My mom. We love you, Amy! That's right, Amy was diagnosed with brain cancer last February. All donations from this benefit will go to Amy. Over $1,500 have been donated as a gift to be auctioned off. If you have any questions about this, please go to Coach Bowles or go to Fremont Volleyball Instagram account. Chick-fil-A will be there as well, so if you just want a snack, head to the game tonight. The girls soccer team begins the playoffs tonight at 4 p.m. They, they are hosting Taylorsville. They would love to see the student body out there cheering them on. The boys left. The boys left cost, no. Okay, the boys lacrosse team is having an open on the turf next Monday, the 12th and the 13th from 7 to 9 p.m. Equipment is not necessary. Just show up and start playing. And finally, the football game is tomorrow at Davis at 7 p.m. Good luck, boys. And that's it for sports. Back to you two. The ACT is coming soon, and for those who plan on taking it soon, or even later, there are some ACT prep classes available after school in the lecture hall. Those classes begin next Monday and will continue until the 22nd. There is a $10 fee, and that fee needs to be paid to the bookkeeper by tomorrow. Also, any senior who is planning on attending Utah State next year, please go and talk with Ms. Jones and the counseling office on Tuesday next week. Utah State is hosting a Zoom call just for incoming freshmen and they can answer any questions about applications and the college experience in general. 
go and talk with Miss Jones ASAP. And now it's time for Florida Man. Hi, I'm Hayden, and on this day in Florida, a man went into Walmart and stole two flat screen TVs. As he was escaping, his pants fell down, but he got away. They eventually found him because he had left his ID in his pants and a bunch of cocaine. Can you believe it? <laughs> and now we have our second episode of Day in the Life with the Drill Team. Let's look at that. I'm Kyler, and I'm here with Berkeley, and this is A Day in the Life. All right, so why do you enjoy dance? Um, I enjoy dance because I'm with all my friends, and we work really hard, and it's just cool to work that hard, and we get to perform for the whole school, which is super fun, too. So, yeah. Big shout out to the drill team. Thank you for letting me be a part of your class the other day. And let's wish them luck at all their competitions this year. That's it for PAC TV. Remember to follow us on FHS PAC TV on Twitter and Instagram. But I'll keep running just to find a way to you till then. I'm tired of running from it